Am I going to No. Okay. Okay. Not in my face. No. Okay. Do you want to start? No, you go for it. <laughs> channel so we're fully back from body power we're rested back up we're no longer as exhausted as we were last week and um, so we decided this week we were going to do a bit of a question and answer video because we had those questions even over about body power and people asking us things that they stand and stuff so we just decided you know what let's just stick it up and get some of your guys questions and we will try and answer them to the best of our ability yes yeah, so we got a heap of questions so pretty much where do we start so we're gonna start with where do you work so I work for GoCar, which is like Ireland's car sharing company, so I work for them in member experience. Yeah, and I have my own personal training business, so um, I'm a personal trainer. So yes. we will uh, link both our businesses below so you yep. can check them out. Um, how did we come up with Clean Teller? So we pretty much were building chocolate, out of it, so we kind of needed something healthier, a better alternative, so yep. we were sort of kind of butting heads as to what to do and how, and there was no alternative out there yeah. at, at the time. So. Um, we kind of okay, looked okay. around and sort of like we kind of had some recipes and we kind of altered like loads of different recipes and it took it took us ages, ages. to find the sort of really? what clean tele is pretty much so uh, that's, that's pretty much what was we sort of needed something to fill the gap. Yep. Um, how did Leanne meet? Um, again, <laughs> pretty much Leanne stopped my life. No. It was no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, I was an instructor in, uh, in a well-known Dublin gym and Leanne used to come to my classes all the time and then just kind of like approached me one time after class <laughs> and was like, so not I'm, true. I need you in my life. So <laughs> that's Okay, true. that's not true. I attended Aaron's classes but then he saw the potential in me and said, oh my God, she's just amazing and fell head over heels with me. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, so these are the girly questions. Yeah, I got some girly questions which I love, but um, I got one, what makeup do I use? So I am using a Rimmel foundation at the moment, really, you know, important. Uh, it's the Red Top 24 hour long lasting one and it lasts through workouts, so it's really good. Um, where do I get my eyebrows done? So we both get our eyebrows done in Shibata in Harvey Nicks in Dundrum, so they're really good. And I also get asked what eyeliner I use. So I use one which is a Sephora own brand, so you can only get it in like the States, um, which is pretty shit, but it's really good, so I always stock up when I'm over there. Yeah, uh, next question was uh, tips for C-sections. That is a massive, massive subject, and again, it depends on when you've had your C-section, like, like how long it's been since you've been in the hospital, or your, yeah. like, your stitches, your, your sort of um, post-C-section sort of exercises like and stuff like that your kegel exercises and stuff how they've went your doctor clearance so there's there's, so, there's much. so much that has to go into it so that could be a video in itself maybe yeah. um so we'll try to do a little video on that but apologies we can't really go into it it'll just take far too long yeah um do we limit our food intake yes definitely i limit my food intake to post-workout and i yeah. normally stick to more sucrose based um fruits such as apricots and pineapple probably my favorite is pineapple but yeah so sucrose definitely, based yeah. Um, food prep, is it done once a week? Um, no, we actually, I... Well, Aaron, it's kind of different because Aaron can prep, you know, throughout the day and the day, in yeah. the morning and stuff because obviously his schedule's a little bit different to mine. I obviously prep the night before. I will maybe try and prep maybe two days in advance, but I keep it in the fridge. I don't really tend to freeze it. Um, and I think unless, you know, you're really stuck for time, if you can do it the night before or maybe two days in advance, it's probably best than freezing things. Yeah, it just depends on your own schedule, your own time and stuff like that. But again, just be prepared. That's pretty much do the, the best that you can. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it is. Like, you know, yeah. be prepared and, and do the best with what you can with your own time and your own lifestyle. Um, go to website or book. My favorite websites are uh, like McDonald'sBodyComposition.com, AnabolicMinds.com, and T and T Nation. Yeah, T Nation yeah, is so. pretty slick. Um, they are and, kind of daunting for girls because I know there's probably girls that are going to want to yeah, T Nation. Yeah, they are quite. Like, oh, they, they are quite really, daunting. Really, really good information, and you just have to kind of, you know, spend a bit of time. Yeah, find, find what information. You, it's find pretty much just find information. What 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 suits you and yeah. like those. Yeah, the websites are slightly daunting, but. Um, like you'll find incredible information across them. Anything from Lana McDonald. Also, uh, Phil Learney's pretty is is top of the game. 
Um, Phil Graham, a guy up in Belfast, personal trainer and coach up in Belfast. No, he's really meant up to you. I know, but there's just, <laughs> so, there's just so many good people. Uh, Phil Learney's nutritional M1 programming book is incredible. Um, Favourite cheat meal? So at the moment it's probably like a Domino's pizza just because you get so much and you feel so full and you can't fill up on other shit after it. Yeah, That's so you good. kind of like, you can get your fill and you sort of, you're well satisfied, you're well fed and you don't tend to overeat, overeat or overconsume or go absolutely nuts. Um, um, Favourite workout? Moves. Mine is definitely legs. Yeah. I love training legs. Oh, probably me too. Like I love training legs when I have time to train legs. I don't really like doing it when you're rushed because yeah. You know, it's hard and you're rushing through it and you're not giving yourself enough rest time and you know, it's just awkward. Whereas when you have the time, you know, you, Sundays you training right. legs is yeah, it's probably the best time for yeah, us. Yeah, pretty much. Who's the better chef? Okay, I'm actually gonna admit that Aaron probably is the better chef. Um I'm a baker more, like I'll come up with more baked goods, but food wise Aaron's probably the best with chef. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Um main training goal is to get as lean as you can and stay as lean as you can that's pretty much the goal for me with sort of the option to compete uh, at a later stage in this year and um, so pretty much to sort of get lean and stay lean that's pretty much yeah, pretty much the same i want to get to a point where i'm extremely happy and try and maintain that um, and then obviously reassess you know do i want to kind of start putting on more muscle or whatever the case may be yeah. but at the moment it's just get lean for summer yeah for sure <laughs> Um, one ingredient we can't live without, mine is definitely pesto. Yeah, um, probably. Well, actually, I think yours should be cinnamon because I remember cinnamon and absolutely everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, probably pesto. I put pesto in with everything. It's a good source of fats and it's tasty as well. Yeah, yeah it's really nice. Um, what else Best got? high carb, protein. Low, low carb. High protein, low carb snack. For me, it has to be Greek yogurt. Yeah, liberty Greek yogurt is It's low calorie, one. low fat. Good, decent amount of uh, protein in it. So, yeah, you yeah. get loads of bang for your buck. Like you get loads of volume for really low calories, yeah. but massive amounts of protein too. And again, the only thing is if you're a little bit lactose intolerant or it's dairy okay. intolerant, it's not fantastic. But on the other hand, if you're not, you're onto a winner. You're onto a winner, yeah. Um, thoughts on boxing, like pad work for weight loss, and how and should you incorporate weight? So. I, we were talking about this beforehand and boxing is great for like endurance and for cardio it's and maybe for well, hit, yeah. but it's not going to build muscle it's, you're not going to get any tone or shape really to your body as much and um, obviously as well with lifting weights you're going to have you know you're going to build muscle mass and that leads to you know more fat loss and yeah like big that. time like if you see guys like Conor McGregor uh, Cahal Pender they all train in the ISI in the Irish Strength Institute so yeah, they're 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 lifting, they're weights, lifting as well. weights as well as doing their their boxing and technical training. So yeah, they do cardio, they do their boxing training, their MMA training, but they also lift weights to to increase strength, increase musculature in the body. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so a typical week for us, this is like it's really boring. I work <laughs> nine or half eight until five every day, and Aaron's schedule can be different depending on the day. Yeah. So generally, I head off to work in the mornings. I normally go and get maybe cardio done straight after work and then wait for Aaron and we go and train in the evening. It can yeah. be quite late sometimes. Yeah. Um, and then the weekends for us are our time. Um, so it can be, it, just, it literally depends. We could be just chilling out. We could be, you know, going out shopping. We could be, we could have a bit of running around to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Go and see so family kind of out there. Yeah. yeah That's pretty much it. Um, what have we got? Supplements. Um, top supplements. And we actually done a video from um, about, about a month ago and yeah. it was about uh, all, our, all our supplements and what we use, but we're going to put a link below to um, yeah. that video and it has all our top supplements in it. But yeah. main top three are multivitamin, fish oil and whey protein. Yes, for sure. The next, um, which follows on to the next question, what is the difference between whey protein and casein protein? Pretty much. To sum it all up, one's fast digesting, one's slow digesting. Um, the whey protein would be for post workout and getting yeah, it too quick. And casein is, you know, it's going to leave you feeling that little bit fuller for a little bit longer. So it's best for. I know this question came for a girl who's going to start training at night time. Um, it depends what you're taking your your protein for. You know, if you want it to keep you feeling fuller, or if you want it for recovery, the whey is for recovery. Casein is going to keep you feeling that bit fuller for longer. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do to de stress? So. For me, de-stressing, like I love going and get my nails done and stuff like that, that is de-stressing for me. But as a couple, to de-stress for us, I think it's when we switch off from counting macros and yeah. it's like having a bit of a cheat meal or just kind of chilling out, watching Netflix and not going, not weighing 
each thing that goes into our mouth. Yeah, it's pretty stressful, the whole process of like weight loss or fat loss and yeah. sort of like strength and looking at your body and stepping on scales. It's a stressful enough process. So yeah, just to de-stress is just taking your mind off. And it, it is really good hours. to take your mind off it because stress can lead to, you know, you holding on to fat. So taking a bit of a break, you know, it's not going to do your body any harm. For sure. Um, so body weight going up and down when weightlifting. So yeah, your body is like, you know, if you're eating right and you're not looking for fat loss and you're just looking to build muscle, of course your weight is going to go up. A pound of muscle versus a pound of fat. We've all seen that photo. So think about that on your body. If you have more muscle, you're going to look slimmer for than, sure. than you do with fat. And also you got to take into account, like if you're eating sort of more carbohydrates and stuff like that, like what if you take in, you know, water retention, especially for women around your menstrual cycles and stuff like that, like um, you've, you've got massive fluctuations in, in water weight and body weight. So that can play a huge factor as well with, with regards to uh, fat loss and weight loss. Yeah. Um, so did we ever under eat on the effects? I know I've done some stupid diets throughout the years and you know like thousand calorie diets and it doesn't work because you just end up binging then and falling off the bandwagon and yeah it does have detrimental effects like at the moment for me I definitely have gone through a plateau with my weight loss and it's hard to kind of get over that um, and it definitely does stem from bad eating habits you know terrible eater throughout my childhood my mum yeah. will testify to that and it uh, it does have long term effects, and you know you can't you can't change twenty five years of bad eating habits in six months and expect a miraculous recovery. Yeah. it's not going to happen. So yeah, it's kind of tough. And like myself being kind of like a sort of chubby kid, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I played a lot of sports when I was a kid. But then when I went to college, I kind of lost the run of myself and had loads of freedom and loads of time and loads of partying and partying with lads and like just going out and doing general college stuff. So kind of gained a, a load of weight during college years. So it's you know it's it is definitely hard to rectify that but like to you can rectify it and it's just time. you just need to be prepared to be in it for the long haul and yeah. not expect to quit big time patience is the key yeah so favorite healthy and not so healthy snack so first up healthy it's probably quest bars yeah um they're you know they're they're kind of high protein low carbs high in fiber high in fiber and you can do so much with them you can bake with them you can just eat them so yeah, yeah you can actually do so much with them um, um, not so healthy snack oh. for me i don't know this is a tough one i really really become quite accustomed to buffalo hunky dories thanks to aaron i tried them for the first time probably three <laughs> weeks ago and it's like oh, i wish i didn't but i am a massive chocoholic at heart yeah i'm big into kinder or skittles kinder bueno or skittles yeah yeah they're probably our favorites the next question is do we get unlimited quest bars um as much as I wish we did, we don't. <laughs> no, we definitely don't. I wish we did. It'd be like Unreal. it'd be sick. And imagine unlimited source of quest bars. It'd be so good. Probably ten to one thousand, but anyway. <laughs> uh, best shoes for deadlifting. Um, pretty much. I use the same shoes every day to train. So unless I'm doing squats, because I have uh, poor sort of flexibility and, and ankle mobility and uh, calf flexibility. So. Um, I use squat shoes or Olympic lifting shoes to get better depth in my squat and better sort of uh, technique so it gets me better range. So unless I'm squatting I don't normally use uh, Olympic lifting shoes so I just use. I use normal runners and I'm terrible, I never use the same runners, I'm always chopping and changing to match my outfits and then I wonder why I have bad knees and bad ankles and bad balance. Yep. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, will we do a subscriber meetup? So we've had this question a couple of times and it's not really something we had actually thought about, but yeah. it's coming into summer, you know, people are looking for things to do. And if it's yeah. something you guys are interested in, definitely leave us a comment or catch us out on Instagram and let us know if there's enough interest there. We'll definitely do like a training session or lunch or something. Yeah, like we'd be pretty sick to do like a, a food meetup, a little sort of like get together over lunch or something. That'd be pretty yeah, sick. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, best PT course in Dublin, I don't know. <laughs> really much, I, I haven't really got a mad idea about sort of PT courses. I've done my, my degree in, in University of Limerick so um, in terms of like smaller PT courses the only one I kind of heard of was um, from James Hanley in, in Rev Fit so if you want to check him out um, yeah. he's always open to, uh, questions. to, to questions and stuff like that so as far as I'm aware like he, he's a bang on guy. Um, I think the best thing is if you're thinking about doing it do your research like everything look into it you know, look and see what the different elements are, what parts they are. Yeah, and, uh, what's interesting, uh, like what's interesting yeah. to you, yeah, like yeah. if you if you really want to get into PT, it's not something that you just get into because it's a cool industry, you really got to love it, passion, like you yeah. absolutely have to love what you do, like so, uh, unless you, you really want to wake up and you just want to absolutely bust the world and help everybody, like, 
don't get into the industry, it's definitely yeah. not for you. So um, this is a really good question, was there a turning point in either of our lives that led to the lifestyle change or has it always been part of our lives? Um, for me, it definitely has not always been part of my life. I was the girl who faked sick in PE because I didn't want to do it. Um, so I definitely have not been a sporty, sporty girl all my life and my diet, as I've said before, it was atrocious. Um, so um, for me, even like a year or two ago when I first met Aaron, I was kind of into it, but I was kind of half arsed. For me, definitely the turning point was Christmas just gone. Um, was me. Eh, definitely wasn't, but anyway. Uh, Christmas just gone, and I just kind of went, I never want to feel like this again. I don't want to feel like crap, and I want to be able to wear whatever I want, and I don't want to feel bloated and stuff, and that was kind of the turning point for me. So for me, this is the longest that I've definitely stuck to it and stayed on track. So it's no longer a diet anymore, it is a lifestyle for yeah, me. Yeah, big time, and for me, sort of like, I was so strict, like I sprinted when I was young, played football at a high level, played ga at a high level, and uh, pretty much when I went to college, sort of lost the run of myself, started partying, started boozing, started sort of having a load of freedom and a load of time on my hands, so kind of just wasn't arsed going to training or going to matches and all that sort of stuff, so kind of fell by the wayside and lost the run of myself a little bit and gained a heap of weight, so yeah, so I've been sort of, that was a sort of turning point for me, it was one of the times where I just felt like absolute shit and I was just like, I never want to feel like that again, so it was, it, it, it a cool sort of saying Tony Robbins says is find a why that makes you cry so it's sort of like you, you've got to find something inside you that really sort of is a turning point yeah. for you um, and sort of a feeling that like a lot of people focus on like you know oh, how I'm going to feel you know like six months down the line when I am fit but think of how you felt you know three months ago or six months ago when you were really unfit you know kind of thing so it's a sort of thing you've got to just trust the process and sort of make it sort of into a lifestyle rather than sort of a, a set a, period yeah, of time. Yeah, a quick fix, like, you know, so make smaller changes for a sort of long term success. Yeah, That's pretty much it. But like, we've got like loads of sort of. We actually had this was one thing we had was loads of topics that we didn't we didn't cover tonight because yeah there were kind um, of huge sort of broad spectrum. We deserve of, a video themselves nearly. Yeah, so, so there was sort of like carb cycling, IFYM, um, our, our, diet. our current diet at the minute, uh, training programs, working out macros, so like how to work out your own macros, uh, fats, proteins, and carbs, um, pre and post workout supplements. <coughs> we actually have a link again. We'll put a link to the supplement video down yeah. below. Um, weight loss tips for people with PCOS, again, Massive. polycystic ovarian syndrome, huge, huge, huge topic to uh, to cover and like again, definitely deserves its own video. Uh, thoughts on aminos and branched chain amino acids, um, pretty quick, yeah, no, like again, probably deserves probably deserves its own video. Uh, how to stay current as a PT in, in a field that is so saturated, again, deserves its own video. Leg workouts for those with bad knees, thoughts on unqualified PTs offering advice on diet plans and online plans and diet and dietary advice well that's like me saying oh yeah i'll tell you how to fix your car i'm not a mechanic so is it going to work probably not so <laughs> that's pretty much it yeah. uh, advice on cardio versus like hit versus low intensity steady state again we could do a video on it so there are we, definitely videos that we're going to uh, be putting up uploading probably one a week for the next yeah. couple of weeks anyway um, so if they were any of your questions, um, Sorry, that, that's why we forward. haven't gotten to them tonight, but they will be their own video, so keep an eye out for them. Yeah. But yeah, so I actually really enjoy doing the kind of question and yeah, I'm cool. so nosy, so I love watching <laughs> these kind of videos. Um, and I'm sure loads of people, whether they admit it or not, are the same. So yeah, it was kind of fun. Um, so we might, again, in another few weeks' time, yeah. pop up another one. I'm sure there'll be different questions then. For sure. um, but yeah, from us, that's kind of it. Don't Pretty forget it. to give the video a uh, thumbs up leave any comments below as well and um, yeah. especially about things that we've mentioned like the subscriber things we'll definitely put in a lot of detail in the comments and uh yeah make sure to follow us on instagram the macro queen and uh, mr fly on instagram and check us out at um at aaron smith pt on snapchat and i think i'm still at leanne hickey but i come up as the macro queen <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah, exactly but yeah so check us out like comment subscribe and We'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.